What up, y'all? Welcome back to the Supreme Draft channel. We're going to do another Supreme Draft. I've been enjoying these a ton. Allie Medwin from the Magic Online team <clears throat> reached out to me today and was like, hey, I was just curious what you and your viewers think of Supreme Draft. And I was like, I have been enjoying it a ton. And I think they have as well. My concern, and I'll communicate it to you guys now, is that Ravnica is a diverse and varied format with eight different packs in the mix. These are all our packs. We have, ooh, hold on. Two original Ravnica, three original Guild Pact, and three original Dissension. This is a good mix. And, um... I think we're taking World Leader's Helix. Because <clears throat> that's pretty easy. Mills eight cards. Put a creature card from a graveyard onto the battlefield. It gains haste. Oh, that's actually not terrible. Uh, my concern is that Modern Horizons is the next set that they're doing Supreme Drafts with. Um, so, I don't think that 18 packs of Modern Horizons, which already had fewer archetypes, because it's it's not encouraging multicolor, it's just encouraging like two-color decks. Um, I worry that Modern Horizons is going to be a little trickier to have it be as replayable, let's say. <clears throat> it's gotta be breaking entering, right? I don't know. Far and away is good too. I don't want to play one. Interesting. I, as someone who absolutely loves Ravnica, and I think it's one of the, the best uh, sets and blocks and planes. I I don't know. I think this format's great. Um, Far and away is good. Zertod Druid's good. Do you get to do both? Oh, actually, the fuse makes this makes this playable. I think that makes it really good. Blazing Archon, <clears throat> that's interesting. Carven carry added, not to be confused with Sylvan carry added. <clears throat> Love and crafty. Thank you for the reset, by the way. Really appreciate you. Did you get to try turbo drafts? Um, I didn't. I didn't. I chose not to. I, it's not that I didn't get to. I just, I, I don't even know what it implied, so I just didn't care. This pack's actually really good. We have Morai, we have Last Gasp, Galvanic Arc, and even Blazing Archon. Blazing Archon we can reanimate, but nine mana is a little rough to play. Pay. Morai is pretty good. It's a four four for four with flying. Take a point. Big deal. Last Gasp is good. All spells were negative five mana to cast. That's interesting. I think we're only last gasp and more eye here. Interesting. Watcher is good. Midnight Reaper is interesting. Hmm. Chemister's Insight also good. Hmm. <laughs> if you want a completely stable opinion on the format, well, I think we're taking Gateway Plaza and Watcher here. But also Chemister's Insight is good. Dang. Let's take Gateway and Chemister's Insight. I'm eating some Reese's Pieces. Hmm. Hypothesis is a little sweet. Crackling Drake could be amazing, actually, for us. The reason being, like... I don't know if everyone does, but we pick up removal so highly in this format that, like, this guy's got to be big. We're taking Crackling Dragon Hypothesis, I think. Okay, so I'm going to highlight this so that it doesn't, like, accidentally take experimental shit. Shit frenzy. <clears throat> uh, Blade Juggler could be fine. Orzov Enforcer is also pretty good. I kind of like both of these, actually. Let's go Blade Juggler and Orzov Enforcer. Oh, Golgari Signet? Oh yeah. The only the only Signet. 
Couldn't have been a mirror signal, huh? No asking too much. <sighs> Maybe we're Grixis. You think Golgari signing a primordial sage and just like not play Warlords Helix? I mean, who are we kidding? We're probably just gonna splash this anyway. We're definitely taking Golgari signet. Like signet's just too good. Primordial sage being double green. I don't think I care about. <laughs> it just doesn't affect us that much. Strands of undeath also pretty sweet. <clears throat> Are those from your sponsored Reese's Swag Box? They sure are. Kerwood actually bought me a... Uh, <laughs> the second one I've ever received from him, actually. A box of 30 Reese's candies. And uh, he was like, look, now it's like you're sponsored by Reese's. And I was like, that's pretty funny. Fyashino Fangtail, also very, very good. <clears throat> Crystals are greater than all else. I have no idea what that means. Hmm. Primordial Sage. It's, it's one of these two. <clears throat> I actually think it's Hangtail. I'm going to take Fangtail. Even if we splash a green card, I think having actual Fangtails in our inner deck is Thank better. Rakdos Ringleader. What do you do? 3 1 for 6. I just copied and just play that play discards a card at random. Eh. Chicken run official. Thank you so much for the resub, buddy. I appreciate it. And you. Excuse me. Um. Hmm. At the beginning of your upkeep, put a filibuster counter on it. Then, if Azorus has five or more filibuster counters, you win the game. Whenever a source deals damage to you, remove a counter from it. Okay. Well, it's not exciting. <clears throat> None of these cards are very good. This is a weird pack. I want to take Syncopate. Oh, I may Essence Backlash. Mm, no, that's not great. I want to take Syncopate. Anything else that's even remotely interesting here? Rakdos Ringleader? Oh, God, it's got to be terrible, right? It's got to be just terrible. <coughs> Runewing is actually probably fine. I like drawing cards. You know what? I'll take a Runewing. Sure. Okay. We got Azorius Chancery. Always taking, always taking Bounce Lands when I have the opportunity. Um, Unliving Psychopath is not great. 0-4 for 4. It gets plus 1, negative 1. Tap and, and it. Tap and it in a black. Destroy a creature with power less than Unliving Psychopath. Psychopath. Yeah, maybe that's not terrible, actually. I don't remember this card being very good. But now, all of a sudden, I'm like, hmm, maybe it's not terrible. There are... Th it, oh, there's three Eidolons in this pack? Jesus. Jesus. You think we'll see Fetchlands printed in the collector packs? But yeah, they already... I mean, there's good... I mean, they already said there's going to be expeditions in collector packs. And as box toppers. And there are ten Fetchlands. So, yes. Because they said so. Got him. It might just be Plumes of Peace. We just took an Azorius Chancery, too. <clears throat> thank you. CTB, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Uh, I don't want to be green if I don't if I don't have to, and I think our four drop slot is looking pretty cramped right now, so I'm I'm steering away from <clears throat> from green if I if I can avoid it. I'm just trying to see if, if high alert's going to be worth anything. I don't think it is. If a creature Thanks. dying causes a triggered ability to perform, you control the trigger triggers an additional time. So that would that would affect literally just Rune Wing, I think. <clears throat> oh, Brett with the gifted sub. I appreciate you, my dude. Um, I think we're taking Get the Point, definitely. It's an instant speed destroy creature scry one so that's just good I mean this pack has a lot of medium cards I'm not super like bring the trials fine exposed to daylight's fine to have I I actually love the choose lands I think they're fantastic 
Yeah, I mean, like, I don't want to take a guild gate that's going to encourage me to play green because I don't think we have to do that right now. I think bring to trial is fine. It also triggers our crackling Drake, so. Borzov Basilica. And an Izzet Signet? Oh, yeah, you just figured out what we're taking. There's also a Pillory in here, though. That's pretty good. And a Belfry Spirit. I don't think it matters. Or is it Signet's great because it helps to cast Crackling Drake. Definitely taking is it Signet. With white being like our, our low splash color, it's actually kind of nice getting... I'm just going to take the Basilica. I think the lands are too important. Grizzly Spectacle. Whenever a creature you control deals combat damage, put a Blaze Counter on it. Remove five Blaze Counters. It deals five to any target. That's cool. Do you know if we're getting all ten of them or just the six we saw? I don't know, actually. I was wondering that same thing. <clears throat> it's very weird that they would only do six, right? Because that's not that's not a cycle at all. It's weird that I feel like I just take two removal spells, but, like, I think that's what you gotta do, right? So. Oh, Demon Fire? Oh, that's really good. Wow, Demon Fire, Cackling Flames, Seal of Doom. Whew. This is a pack, all right. We're definitely taking Demon Fire. I kind of like Azorius First Wing, but... Ugh. Crackling Flames is another 4 damage spell. It might be Seal of Doom. Although I have nugged some people with Crackling Flames to kill them. It's just a lot of 4 drops. Hmm. Whenever it deals damage, you gain that much life. Okay, that's an interesting way of saying lifelink. Whenever target creature deals damage, you gain that much life. <laughs> to give target creature lifelink. I think it's just Seal of Doom. <clears throat> probably it's probably a little better here. This is a lot of a lot of removal. <laughs> this is like our whole deck is removal. One, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven. Ogre Savant and Steam Core were in the same pack. Why can't I have both? <sighs> Exumer Thrall is also great. So 3-3 three, three for 6 that gets a guy back, and then you haunt something else to get another guy back. So is Blind Hunter. This whole pack is great. Yeah, I guess you can stack it. Put multiple triggers on that dude. Um, God. Do I pass a Signet? I think I do. I think I like Ogre Salon and Exumer Thrill here. That was tough. That was a good signet too. Another Luminant Primordial? God, this deck, this this format loves giving me Luminant Primordials. I feel like it's the only card in this set. It's the only white rare in this set that it'll give me. I mean, I'm definitely taking it. It's a sweet seven drop. <clears throat> of course, the only guild gate is a Simic. Ugh, none of these cards are great. Metropolis Sprite, I guess. Uh, I'm none, none of this, none of these cards are exciting. I mean, we have nine <clears throat> nine creatures. I'm not super excited about pit fight here. <sighs> I'll take Sprite. Oh, Assassin's Trophy. We only have, like, three fixing lands so far. I'm definitely taking Guildgate. And... <laughs> mm-hmm. 
I mean, Beacon Bolt kind of goes to their deck. How many? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine instants and sorceries. Yeah, I'll take a Beacon Bolt. Sure. Why not? Oh, Racto Signet and a Chancery? Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Racto Signet making the cut. Chancery making the cut. <clears throat> oh, Bedevil is nice. Is it better than Gets at the point, though? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Chillbringer's great. Uh, tap target creature doesn't tap. Yeah, let's take a Chillbringer. Maybe. I'm going to take Golgari's Signet out. I love Rakdos Fire Wheeler. It might be too hard to cast, though. Bedevil might also be too hard to cast. Let's take Chillbringer. Because, I mean, the problem is we have two Azorius Chanceries, which, like, are terrible with Rakdos Fire Wheeler and Bedevil. And again, there's one Guild Gate, and it's a Gruuld Guild Gate. I kind of just like Arrester's Admonition. Uh, I've enjoyed Historic a bunch since Field of the Dead got banned. I'm going to take Arrester's Admonition. This card, would, this card is good in limit. Oh, another Basilica? Wow, two Basilicas and two Chanceries? That's weird. Giant Solifuge is also a hell of a drug. What do we have? We have three right now? Hmm. We have how many white cards? One, two... Oh, we also have the friggin' World Leaders Helix that will play if we're white, which we are. I don't care about Rune Wing. Yeah, two, two. I also don't care about Syncopate. <clears throat> Alright, I'll take Basilica. And maybe Blind Hunter? I mean, I like Giant Solifuge, but, like, our opponent actually wrecked us with a Solifuge, but if we, I mean, like, if they just have a creature on the board, it's not as good. I'm going to take Blind Hunter. Blind Hunter's just great. Oh, yeah, that was the end. All right. All right, so we can cut one card and play 20, 15 lands with two Signets and four Bounce lands. Brett, what's that Florida temperature at right now? <laughs> like hot. <laughs> that sounds about right. Alexa, what's the temperature in Tampa right now? It's only 90 with a low of 76 tonight. Low of 76 in Florida sounds banging, dude. Alexa, what's the temperature in Palm Harbor? Right now, in Palm Harbor, Florida, it's 88 degrees Fahrenheit. It's 88 in Palm Harbor. Tonight, it's set to low of 77 degrees. Brett, I think you're being a little baby right now. Okay, so we have six white... Uh, one, two... Three, four. Yeah, it went up because of the... <laughs> oh, man. I mean, as far as Florida goes, dude, 88 to 90 is like... Woo, that's a cool day, boy. Uh, I'm actually tempted to play Syncopate over, like, Bring the Trial. Although this kills, like, big dudes that we don't really... 11 creatures is also a good amount here. Oh yeah, I imagine last month was probably miserable. It's starting to get really cool here too at night, which is super nice. <laughs> last month was yesterday. Well played, sir. Well played. Um, Alright, so... Let's add basics. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We're definitely going one white source because we only have 6. We have 10 black, so this is what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
six, seven. Nine blue and nine red. So as far as red goes, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. As far as blue goes, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is what, four, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Cut one of these. We also have signets. Both signets are red, so we can cut this. I think that's correct. We don't have any white sources that don't come into play tapped, unfortunately. We have two basilicas, two chanceries, and a gateway plaza. That's a little rough. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blue sources. Uh, red sources we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, black we have. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's cut a swamp for a plains. I mean, our deck is also packed full of goodness. That's like every that's like every deck, though. Oh, uh, this hand seems good. <clears throat> I like it. Because I haven't asked in a while, and because I really do want to know your opinion. Here we go. Have you counted George's? No, no, I have not. It's just not high on my list. Just because I've never been there, so like it's not a thing I think of regularly when I'm like, what are we getting for dinner tonight? And then I think of this place. It just doesn't happen. Was this guy just doing? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, I don't know if it's worth being sad about. Doggy, d -d -d doggy. Sometimes you just gotta bring the chill. Thank you. I'm going to Casa Bonita when I go to Denver in two weeks. Is worth it? I've heard no from everyone. I've it's a cool experience, I've heard. Like, it's funny and, like, entertaining, but the food is not great. I would just go to a restaurant that's really good. But also, I would not go to Casa Bonita during COVID either. So, you know, I guess we're we're likely going to be uh, <laughs> opposed there. Shanala with the resub. That's the impression that I get. Okay, that was cool. That was really not a cool thing. That was not a cool thing to do, my dude. However, that being said, I'm gonna get busy exhuming. This is what it's like to zoom. 
This is value. 44 Fahrenheit for my fellow Imperialists. Yeah. I don't know what Celsius is, alright, buddy? Casa Bonita is like if YMCA served enchilada straight from the pool. Yikes. Oh, wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can bring the trial and keep up Chemister's Insight. Oh, wow. This is, this is getting aggressive right now. They're going to kill this guy. Easy haunt here. This is eight we'll take? Ew, that's bad. That's no bueno. They have one card in hand. I see. I see. I'm just gonna take it. I think it's I don't wanna I don't wanna take two extra points just to or save two points just to keep Orzov off and force her alive. That does nothing for me. Oh, that's pretty good. close to tragedy I've been close to those who have I never had to knock on wood but I know someone who has hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna kill this thing Alright. Well, I've never had to knock on wood. I often have them coming upon a friend's doorway. I've come upon your doorway and I've found the urge to knock on wood. Alright. Do they just cast Crackling crackling Flame and kill us here? With Warlord's Helix in hand? So Of course they do. Of course they do. <sighs> that was fun. You're really good at that, unfortunately. Well, I think what's the worst thing my opponent can have in this situation that would really ruin the game for me? So I say that thing. And then, and then they have it, so, you know, that's cool. Yep, just put it out into the universe. And the universe is like, well, that's a good idea. You're smart. And I'm like, thanks, universe. Thanks. I could have actually played Orzov Enforcer Attacked and then Blade Juggler. That would have been better. What set block would you pick? That's a great question. Something powerful. Oh, I like Vyashino Fangtail next turn. Innistrad could be good. I So I like multicolor sets. That's the thing. I like Ravnica because it encourages you to play multicolor. So like... Like having to stick to two colors throughout 18 different packs is, is kind of difficult. Because it's like, you're, you know, you're now all of a sudden your picks are like... You get to pick like two of four cards in every pack. Or, yeah, basically. You know. 
But with Ravnica, pretty much everything is open, right? You can pick any card you want. You can be like, oh, wow, I can take this and splash it. I can... There's so many gold cards. There's so many lands and fixing. And Ravnica's, like, the perfect draft format. It's, like, my favorite draft format. Like, all of them. <laughs> Except for War of the Spark. <sighs> They're like, oh, shit, that Fangtail kills all my creatures. What do I do? It is a five-color nonsense paradise. Cons would be good. I agree with that. I mean, if you have a way to kill my fangtail, just do it. Alright. What? Oh, weird. This is very weird. They're just putting that on that guy even though I just get to kill it next turn? Hmm. I am fascinated. <laughs> Insta-kill this thing. Because if they have a pump spell next turn, I just don't want them to untap. Be like, plus one, plus one, or God's willing, or something. Obviously those cards are not in the set. But, uh, you know. One, two, three. Juggle. Come on, land. Nailed it. The multicolor nature of this makes me not want to play it. It seems too complicated. Oh, okay, so that's that's interesting. Yeah, as someone who's very experienced with drafting both Ravnica and multicolor sets, like this is like my bread and butter, so I, I actually love it. But that makes total sense. Creatures without Defender. Okay, sure. So, Thoughts on the new Nissa? I haven't really processed the new Nissa yet. Okay, so all our creatures are X1s. That's fascinating. So heavy, you'd collapse. No! I never had to knock on wood. But I knock on wood I wonder if I should. Yeah, I'm just killing this now. Again, same reason. Hmm. You know what? You got him. I should have pumped this, right? That would have been good. Thoughts on Yargle Explore? Uh, I like all the Yargle stuff, to be honest with you. I actually don't want to play Morai here, because this deck's pretty aggressive. That being the case, I'm still going to kill this idiot. Play this. Bounce this. Pump you. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six. We also have Illuminate Primordial Mana or both of these mana. Dude, their whole deck is X1s. The Spy Shino Fangtail is MVP. Exumerthrall! Can we kill them yet? Three. Just attacking with everybody here. Three, four, five, six. This puts them real close to, to demon fire range. Yeah, that's fine. Mm 
Morai. Yarl song. Yargle. Yargle theme. There it is. <laughs> Affinity. I wonder if you made that clip. Or that command. Because then you got nobody to blame but yourself, buddy. You got it. <laughs> yep, that's why it's stupid. Hmm. So this puts them to eight, and then we can fire them for seven with a land. Okay, well, that is not what's happening here, I suppose. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can we can do this for six, but we're just gonna pass here. I mean, they're. They're basically dead, right? Did they just go two colors? Makes me wonder if I ever had a knock on wood mana tithe <laughs> I don't like mana tithes in this format This hand's actually pretty great. Turn two signet, turn three plume or seal into chancery. Yeah, this is real good. Never had to knock on wood. Well, probably not plumes, I guess, because we don't have a white source. But nevertheless. They got a bunch of two drops. So I imagine they are going to play another dude. They're all terrible. So next turn we can go Seal of Doom into like... Probably Basilica. We have two blue sources already. Don't have another creature though, that'd be great. I'd really appreciate that. I told you not to. I said don't have another one. And you did. No! We're going to keep it up now in case they have, like, madcap skills or a galvanic arc. And we want to do a pre-combat in case they... So they don't trigger their battalion. Wait, they didn't play anything else? Love it! Do you love it? I love it. I got it at Ross. One, one, two, three, four. So we can either play Morai here and then Chancery. Or we can play Plumes of Peace. 
think Mora is fine. I mean, if they kill it, they kill it. Oh, they didn't have anything. Okay. Uh, block. And again, if they want to race crackling frames, it's fine because then we just save the... Yeah, sure, that's fine. Like, again, that's, like, their full turn, and they don't actually deal any damage to us, so... Okay. Um... Let's plume this guy, play this, and next turn, if they put, like, madcap skills on this, we can primordial it. It's like they have a 1-1 one, one, and we're at 13. It feels fine. Is that Mike B snoring? It is. Ho, ho, ho! 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Very good. Very, very good. Oh. Well, that's nice. Wow. They actually could have put us to, like, 1 here. Oh, wait, they still can. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, that's fucking... Wow, that's amazing. Yep. That's really bad. Boy, I sure gained... I wish I gained the life. I mean, we have to dodge, like, a burn spell for a turn. Or removal spell. Wow. I mean, they always have crackling flames, so I'm not really going to be surprised when the crackling flames our face. Are we dodging bullets? Oh, wow. Feels good. Still crackling flames dead, but... Boy. Yeah, we're still dead to crackling flames, unfortunately. Cackling flames or crackling flames? Fuck. It's confusing because crackle... Because flames crackle, so that's what I assume it is. But then I think it's like laughing in the art. All right, all right. Well, it does. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna madcap skill. Well, if they had madcap skills, they would have done that last turn, right? So, okay, okay. Warleader's Helix one time, please. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Warleader, chemistry's insight into Warleader's Helix. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can also breaking and entering them. Wow, this is really suspenseful. Nothing happened. Okay.
mean, I'm tempted to go to two with Blade Juggler. I, I, I think the card is more relevant. We could also play Breaking Entering, targeting them, I guess? But then we'd want to do that pre-combat, I think. I don't think two is any worse than, than three right here. Yeah, we're definitely bouncing a bird, but I want to see if I can draw a burn spell first. Specifically Warlord's Helix, so... Doom. I've been going back and forth with Nord on your FTK rep for, for an email today, trying to get a core business trial account set up and keep your name. That would be awesome. I really, I would, I would love that. That would help me out immensely as well. They have like so many draws. Galvanic Arc, Crackling Flames. Not that thing. That thing sucks. Josh, how's it looking? Looking good or looking looking medium? Looking bad? And we can untap with Grizzly Spectacle. Does Haunt trigger on the Goblin? What does that mean? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Haunt triggers when the creature dies. Oh, you have to, so you have to, yeah, demo it first, see if it works for what you guys are trying to do. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. 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 Okie dokie. Oh, boy, I'm just like... it's a lot of pressure here. Yeah, I think this is fine. Spectacles are good out not only versus a combat trick, but also like a galvanic arc, which kills us. This game is really intense. Can a dude get a demon fire? Okay, we're just eating that dude. Just give me one more turn. I think one more turn and we can do it. I think we can put it away. Which means we don't get one more turn. That's that's my theory. Because we need one more turn. That's that's when we don't get it. Mad cap skills. That's fine right now. I'm gonna block your stupid throw. Creatures you control get first strike vigilance. Yeah, okay. Okay, they have no cards in hand. I think that's game. I think we just won the game. A double attack step. Oh no. Four, five, six, seventy nine tell them. Yeah, they're just they're just dead. Oh, I can't even play breaking and entering. Oh boy. I'm loving it. Ba da ba 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 I'm loving it.
Oh, check this guy out. I don't think I've seen this guy yet. Ora. Ura. Skyclave Hierophant. Hierophant? Four mana for a 3-3 three, three with lifelink. Whenever Aura or another cleric dies, return a cleric with lesser converted mana cost from your graveyard to the battlefield. So if this guy dies, you can return a three drop. That's interesting. Take that, you stupid... What? Why did that... Oh, because I clicked the help button? Come on, magic. Or come on, windows. Ain't nobody got time for that. Yes. Excellent. Uh, oh, Swamp Swamp Hand, huh? No, that's not going to do. Single Orzhov Basilica Hand, huh? No, that's not going to do. Go into five, guys. Yeah, alright, that'll do. Let's get rid of... Chillbringer and probably Hypothesis will draw us cards, though. All right, we need another land. I believe in us. I don't believe in us enough. Look at the top four cards. You reveal a creature or land, put it on top. Wow. Oh, baby. That's like drawing two lands. God, bounce lands are so OP, dude. Yeah, that guy's fine. So we can actually go Swamp, Signet, or Enforcer, I think it's just Signet into into Gildegate so they can play Morai next turn. Like, I want the blue source. I also want Hypothesis to kill this thing. Maybe discard Metropolis Sprite. That's not going to do it, though. Oh, it does. Yeah, it is. It's not casting cost. It's actually just deal four. My God. One, two, three, four, five. My kingdom for a fire spout. <laughs> oh boy. Hypothesis is on the three, three. Let me take five. We go to eight. Get to draw two cards. Or we can play Enforcer Sprite, which doesn't seem great. I mean, if we play Morai, we can't block, take three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then one from the Morai. So this isn't an option. Ogre Savant also just like bounce this guy, but then it trades with either one of these. Yeah, I think we're gonna sizzle. I don't love it, but it does give us two extra cards to work with, so.
No, it's the same reason. No, it's, the, <laughs> it's the same reason Ancient Tomb and Wasteland are also not legal and standard. Um, so next time we're gonna have six mana. We can play three and like Enforcer. I think Sprite is definitely the culprit. So we're gonna kill this guy now because it's the most damage, and then we can just Seal of Doom this idiot. Sure, that's fine. Oh, it did nothing. Oh, wow, that's fantastic. God. Bounce lands are just so good. So fantastic. I mean, the problem is they just get gutter bones back if they attack, but making a... Oh, sure. Wow, that's fantastic because they don't get gutter bones back now. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> real good. Sure. Oh, my goodness gracious. This is wild. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven mana total. We can just go like this. Actually, you're probably just going to keep... Exact the clue stone? Sure. That doesn't do anything. Um... Do I want to bounce Guildgate here? I don't think so. I'll just play Swamp here. I think that's fine. <laughs> Reprint Wasteland into standard and just maintain the normal ban rates. I get it. I mean, this is going to make Rise on Lurcher 6 6, but like, I'm at 7. I'd rather not take 2 here. Oh, what? Put a counter on it. Sure. Hmm. Fascinating. Um. Gotta be Morai here. And now we'll play Basilica, Bouncing Swamp. We're gonna keep this guy back because I don't want to die to Crassus. And they have Rhizome Lurcher, but we have Bring to Trial, so. Like, this is gonna be a 4 3 because uh, it's gonna evolve when the Rhizome Lurcher comes into play. And then the Rhizome Lurcher is gonna hit it. So then they're gonna have another counter on it. Yeah. So then it's just like a. Yep, it seems good. Easy block. block. I actually might even block with more eye just to keep the damage off the board. Search library for a land or gate. Sure. Okay. Bring. Um. Wow, Doom Whisperer, <laughs> Crackling Flames again, Zertos Swine, which is just a big fat idiot, but also a trick, so that's good to know. I just kind of want to close this game out, so I'm going to attack for 7 here. I mean, if they have another Crackling Flames, they could just, like, play land, play Crackling Flames, and then we die to our own Morai. Cackling Flames. T 
Time Spiral Remastered. Time Spiral was a fantastic uh, draft set, so I could definitely see myself doing some Time Spiral Remastered. So they're going 2-2 in face. That actually seems fine. Oh, Time Spot Remastered, like, next year. I thought you meant it was coming to, like, Arena. Yeah, I would definitely do Time Spot Remastered drafts, for sure. Yeah. All right, well. This is a, this is a for sure a race. Yikes. If you're gonna, if you're only gonna Pyromatics, like, you probably should have cracked that first last turn. And then, if you draw, like, six drop or something, you're a way to kill me. Yep, that's pretty good. Demon fire! You'll get caught up in the demon fire! Are we going to doubt her on Morai? What just happened? Oh, they just broke their bones back? Sure. Demon fire, demon fire, demon fire, demon fire, demon fire, demon Cool. Oh my god. Oh my god. Come on. All right, I'll give it a shot. Any bounce land, any signet turns this hand into a, into just a just a treat. Okay, well we are short on lands here. Why was the stack all the way down here all of a sudden? Yep. That's rough. <sighs> also good. Cool. This is a cool. This is a cool way to lose a match. Super cool. I mean, even if we draw bounce land, like we're two turns away from cast anything, unfortunately, so. It doesn't even really do anything. There's always next time. And again, this isn't a situation of like, oh, you're too greedy with your colors. Like, this is a matter of like, well, we drew two lands. If we drew three lands, we can start playing things. Yeah. Yep, that'll do. I'm just not going to play this out when I haven't literally missed like four land drops. Four land drops. Nice. All right. Yeah. What can you do? It happens. I mean, it's magic, right? And this is why. There's a little, like, I, I posted the new lands on my Facebook pages, and, like, there was one person who was like, this is not how magic was supposed to be. And I'm like, no, it's fine. And it's so funny, because it's like, well, yeah, but then this bullshit doesn't happen, you know? So, like, <laughs> like, if this was a land I could just put into play, like, oh my god, fantastic. Actually, let's put that Crackling Drake. I don't foresee us casting that. Thank you. Drow, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Yeah, and then people are like, well, but also, they don't do anti anymore either, so, like, clearly magic is capable of evolving and changing, so, I don't know. People are weird. Orzov, Pontiff. That's actually pretty good. That's actually pretty good. I'm playing this guy. That's actually good. 
Any, give me a, give me a, like a, give me like a red land. Give me a mountain. One mountain would be just wonderful. Two, two. For four. All these black creatures, and I'm over here with the Seal of Doom. Well, you know what? I'll take an island. Island is, accomplishes the same thing. Oh boy. Think your Prince of Card Gamble or Soul Chainer. <laughs> oh, Christ. Let's move the stack. I have no idea why it was, like, down there. Hey, yo, stack, why are you down there? Mind rot, you piece of shit. Wow. Fantastic mind rot. And we have seven power on the board, though. I'm not too concerned. In my day, we ran 20 lotuses, 20 channel, and 20 fireballs, just like Rich intended. Yeah, that's what I mean. I'm like... Okay, so if you want to stick to the exact way magic was intended to be played, like... We're just going to play black lotuses and... And, and Library of Alexandria's and, and Time Walks, right? Like... So they're actually dead on board here. Like, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, I hope you don't have a way to kill any of my creatures, because that would be sad, but... This is only six damage, though, if they pump it, and then they go to eight if they do. <laughs> oh, boy. Hmm. I'll take it. I'll take six. They should make choose lands that have the basic land types in it, but it lets you pay me out and bounce them back to your hand. Jesus. <laughs> One of the sweetest things I'm looking forward to is, like, the Valakut land, for example. Like, you can find a way to bounce the land back to your hand. And then it's like you're putting a spell on your hand. Which is pretty sweet. Okay. I hope they do it a second time. Okay, we go to seven. We go to six after combat. Neg three, if you control a creature with power four or greater, you may return up to one target creature card from your graveyard your hand. Okay, so they're just killing this guy. Sure. That's a good draw. Oh my, I was typing that as you said that. Yeah. So I can be like, Azorius Chancery, bounce my Valakut. Have a have a card in hand. That does a thing. Oh wow, they're getting aggressive here. Actually, this is just a better trade, right? Go to five. I don't think there's a black card that can kill us here, but I've... I could be mistaken. They could also have, like, a way to wipe the board. Oh, they just lose. They could also have a way to lose. That's an option as well. Very unmagic. Let us never do this. Magic must stay the same, never change, and die in a few years. This is the way. Yeah. Yeah. Meh. Yeah.
Oof, on the draw. This hand is great if we hit one land. I'm going to keep it. I live dangerously. We have two turns to hit a land. Oh, shit. Racky khaki. Oh, that's how we do it. That's how we do it. Take a, take a Nazorius chance on me. Yeah, okay. That's actually great, because now Azorius Chancery doesn't make us discard. So, I was going to discard anyway. <laughs> now you're just helping. I think my Signet. I bet they take my Signet. Wow. Wow. Joke's on you. Now I don't have to discard. <laughs> Ooh, blood operative. I feel like that card's not gonna actually do much. That don't seem to do much. Oh, 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 you gotta got to dance and then you got to turn. Where's that force is pretty decent? Even if they kill, like you still get the block blood operative. Hmm. I kinda like this a little better though. I wanna Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Probably gonna just play Island, though, just because it gets us closer to the Drake. Drake is really hard to cast for us. Uh, I think the party mechanic is fine. I think it's cute. Oh, wow. That's See, that's what I'm talking about. That's what father likes. That's what father likes. The bounce lands. The drowns lands. Okay. Four mana. Martial law. Detain a creature and opponent controls. Sure. Sure. Bring them chills. Um, let's, let's tap this guy. It doesn't matter what you detain, bro. Martial Law is actually pretty good. Okay. They have two cards, three cards in hand. Wow, our hand is stacked. Thanks to these two bounce lands. Oh, you're gonna kill this guy. Oh, wow, look at you go. Now we just get it back with Exhumer Thrall? God, you're just helping me out. Because I've got a golden snickle. <laughs> this is the this is the hand we kept one land one signet. <laughs> sure. Haunt you. Probably could have haunted their guy. I don't know if that's better. What am I missing in the chat? What are you saying right now? I found a scientific proof that it's hot here. <laughs> Is it really hot in Florida? Yes. <laughs> Alright, yeah. No, I can't argue with that. You and your golden schnickel can get... Wow, that's really... Why would you say that? I thought we were friends. I thought we were BFFs. Kerwit, I'm really close to buying these uh, Israfils. Can you tell me whether I should or should not? 
I literally have the stock X tab open and they're in my cart right now. Uh, yeah, that's fine, bro. Uh, you can have both of these lands that suck. That was a great draw. Wow, it gives us the red for entering and it still lets us play Chillbringer. Good gravy. I'm still feeling them as well, and a lot of people were like, like I saw a post where someone was like, Israfil or Zion, and a lot of people were like, I saw, I sent my Israfil, I sent my Zions back, and I kept the Israfils, so I think people are really liking them. Was it six mana for a Pontiff of Blight? Yeah, that's fine. Seven mana. So one, two, we need one of the blues anyway. Eh, that's pretty good. They just have like no cards in hand? Hmm. Two seven? So we have one blocker, we block here, we take four, five, we go to seven. I think that's fine. I mean, if you buy shoes and you don't wear them, yeah, you can definitely, I mean, like, shoes just like everything else has a return period. Okay, well. Martial law is hard to deal with. It's kind of obnoxious, like, every turn they're just... Um... 2-2 two, two seems better. We also have Vyashino Fangtail, which gets rid of the 2-1, so... So we take, we go to five. This card, this card has to go. Good gravy. Imagine my surprise. <laughs> oh man. That's a fucking great saying. I'm gonna start saying that. Imagine my surprise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We are at five. <sighs> Put a creature on the battlefield under your control against haste. Actually, the blood operative is pretty decent. Let's do that. Uh, let's cast the Rakdos Signet first, right? So we need black, black. Fuse it up. Target player. Syndicate Guild Mage. Tide the Drinker. Shrieking Grotesque. All your creatures suck. I mean, Blood Operative just gets us the most life. Ugh. Do any of these cards do anything from the graveyard? Not really. Two castigates. Not bad. Yep. But that was yes that's actually exactly what I want not only does it lower their extort count but then they don't have a creature to attack us with so 
I mean, we would have had one blocker to their three creatures. And they're at 21, so I think taking that would have been... Holy God. Wow, that's so fucking good. Oh boy. Oh boy. Glad it doesn't have haste, I guess. Really? You're attacking? That's weird. That's that's something. Holy one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We can nine them. Like I want to demon fire this to get the extort off the board, but then we literally die to this because they martial law this guy. No, they martial law this guy, and then we can't block it. Oh wow. I mean, Drake wouldn't be that big. He'd be literally a two four. I mean, I think we have to kill this, and then their extort is only one anyway. So this is five. And then we can play Drake after, right? No. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. So I can go one, two, three, four. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, yeah, so we can play Drake here. Hmm. That is reasonable. Um, two, three, four, red, one, two, might as well pay it all. Um, yeah, I'm just going to pass here. Still looking for that war leader's helix. Yep, you got it. They did nothing. Power for a greater. Oh. Okay, so we're gonna tap both of these. I think it's discard plumes. Well, we're not casting more eye. That's for sure. So if we attack with this, we still have three blockers. They can make, like, both of these kill this. No, they don't necessarily. Yeah, all right, we're just going to pass here. Thankfully, they only have one extort, so they can only do one trigger per per card, per, per creature they pull, per, per spell they play, I guess. you. <sighs> Okay, they have no cards in hand. Are they just playing lands out? This is great for us. Wow. Mm, okay. Fangy boy. My god, they're just hitting lands. This is incredible. Okay. Okay, so now we can definitely attack with both of these. Plus we have the other. Like this is six a turn, so. Oh my God, this is literally like five lands in a row. I kind of feel bad for our opponent to be honest with you. We 
Yeah, okay. That's probably game. So we can actually kill this, deal three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can actually play all of these things. Yeah. Let's just close it out. I don't even know what game this is. I think this is game two. I think we won game one. Yeah, we did. Because we were like, oh, we can keep a little bit riskier of a hand. 2-1. Another successful record, I would say. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check out NordVPN. Uh, if you guys are looking for a VPN, if you guys are looking for an internet security VPN, uh, definitely check them out. You can check out nordvpn.org slash Frank Lepore. You can find the link in the chat or down below in the description. And uh, it's 68% uh, off. For your first two years along with a free month so it's a pretty good deal it's a great way to support the channel and they have a great service so uh, definitely check them out also check out manitraders.com coolstuffinc.com and i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching